Hey everybody, welcome back. Last episode was wild. There was a lot that went down, ran into Kozlov, got an X-Fact and Clue about uh, Tatiana. And we have all of our tools now for um, the, the thing at the end, I guess. And so what I'm you imagining- are, I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. Yeah, you said right. micro weather or I something like exactly that. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Oh, okay. dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A forthright and honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I'm down. Well, if it works, there must be something <laughs> of to it. all the things to question, I magic dust actually sounds it. like it might work. You should. Okay, I'll check it out first chance I get. Okay. Now, oh, Black Stalker. Yeah, we might have a we might have a little throwdown here. Okay, so Olga's best is going to be, let's say here, Terracan here, Mikhail and Olivier. Let's do Olivier's there, and then Mikhail on this one. Okay. So hopefully we can find that clue, and then ultimately I think we're like good to go <laughs> to that powder? final. It's not really your style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? Still, if there's any truth to it, it could be your best chance to defeat the shadows, and perhaps even him, the Black Stalker. Exactly, the Black Stalker. It's like it's funny because it's such a such a you know perfectly sort of cringy but also not like this is probably the type of names that people would come up with if they were in these scenarios oh okay i'm going deep first watch out for those bastards igor i heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to red forest let them let them come Okay, so this is like our, this is our opening area again. We've seen that clue before. Uh, what is this? Oh. It's nothing anymore. Absolutely nothing. It's a bright, sunny day out here. Very nice. Great weather. in Chernobylite crystals. Crushed. Suffocated. Not the first time we've seen this. Okay, well. Okay. 
I can show you the world. Isn't that, that's Aladdin, right? On the magic carpet ride. A whole new world. I don't remember the rest. And before you go into the comments and say, Oh, you're ruining the vibe. Olga. I'm sorry. I think I found some of this, what did you call it? Dust? Stay vigilant. There could be lurkers nearby. Those things are never too far away. Did I just pick something up that was dust or what? I'm ready to blast if necessary. Hey you! Where do you think you're going? Uh, don't shoot. I'm uh, friendly. <laughs> I should probably put my gun friendly, away. my ass. Turn around and keep walking until you disappear. Why so hostile? I helped you guys out, remember? I need to speak with Madvey. Did you now? Olga's gone and Kostya is missing. Probably because of you. Somehow. Olga came with me willingly, by the way. Look, I, I really need this dust. Maybe we can work out some kind of arrangement. No can do. There's too much going on right now. Kostya and Matvey are both gone. I don't give a toss about Kostya, but Matvey is a different story. At least we know what happened to our kin. Fucking NAR bastards. Okay. Look, I need the white powder. <laughs> white powder, eh? And you're a cocaine Yeah, too. I was going to say. We don't do drugs around here. We live healthy, clean lives. Now, wait a minute. Just kidding. I know what you mean. The answer is no. Okay, we're not getting anywhere with this guy. Okay. I'll be going now. Good idea. Make yourself scarce, friendo. Did you hear that? Can you talk to this guy? Talking to this halfwit is a waste of time. Any suggestions? Go to the cemetery. At least that's what we call it. Matt Vey used to visit there from time to time. Maybe you'll find him there. Or Kostya. Great. The cemetery. Oh, this is going to be exactly the spot that we were on, isn't it? With all the guys in the... Chernobyl light. Jesus. This isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, Ooh. but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Phosphorus, slaked lime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there, what's left of her. What? Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? I'll check the bones, if you don't mind. Clue discovered. Bone. Okay. Uh, don't blow up our gun. Unbelievable. Is it possible they were telling the truth? What's going on? Remember when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true, well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's why it avoids the lye and phosphorus. <laughs> Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. Oh, that's really I have cool. no idea how Matvey came up with this. But he hit the jackpot. You can tell me the rest when you get back. Bring the dust. I told you to return to oh, your career, Oh, baby. But I see you didn't listen. Well, it's understandable in a way. You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. You're the wild card of the zone. I wonder if we'll call him by if you'll real end name. Up on the side of the heroes or the rats. You're talking gibberish. <laughs> you think I don't know you've been talking gibberish? to Semenov? Perhaps even Koslov? Who else, I wonder? But your little gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. How do you... 
You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? Like a lost little boy. That big brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat! Why did he call you a rat, Mousy? They're using you, and you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Why you're really here? You're insane. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana, and I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No, you don't belong here. It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. You're delusional. Semenov used a photograph to lure you here, to get you to mess with my plans. Uh, I don't know about that. you his puppet, whether you realize it or not. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Let's reveal who he is. You underestimate me, old friend. Yes, I know it's you, Boris. What happened to you? We had our differences back in the day, but we were also good friends, the three of us. Tatiana has always been the most important person in my life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I don't care about anyone else, about my friends. Friends? <laughs> sure. Sure, Boris and Eagle, bosom comrades to the end. Cross my heart and all that. It's really bizarre to see you claiming something that doesn't belong to you. If only you knew. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't care. I will find Tatiana. I wonder if, if he's talking about the child. So I will. You're not lacking in courage, Igor. But courage without knowledge is indistinguishable from stupidity. Do you understand what you're up against? I know you talk to those halfwits in my lab. Their indiscretion cost <laughs> them their lives, by the way. You killed them for telling me that crazy theory of yours? That Chernobylite is an organism so powerful it can produce singularities and wormholes inside its own multi-dimensional body? Believe what you want. But how do you hope to challenge such power if you can't even defeat me? You're so far out of your depth, you don't even realize. I have my own plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Who knows I don't know if he remembers our last run in. I sincerely hope I never see you again, Igor. That was impressive scared. what you did back there. You faced a monster and survived. Not everyone can say that. And you two have history, right? Damn. Respect, man. Really? Thanks, I guess. But keep your eyes on the prize, okay? We're not done quite yet. Let me see if he left anything behind. I don't think so. Okay, well, uh, we're clear, so let's rock and roll. I gotta make some decisions about what to use these skill points on as well. Maybe AR damage. Um, super sneaking, jumping, dropping. They're all decent. Extra health, even. Praise the great rat catcher in the skies. You faced the devil himself and survived. Yes. <laughs> it was quite an experience. Don't worry. I can never believe that you were the Rat King, or even a lesser rat. You have a pure heart. I trust you. But now, we know exactly what we're up against. Chernobylite is the evil that descended upon this world. It's the true face of the Rat King. Listen to me, Igor. Whatever the cost, we have to destroy it. Okay, well, very nice. 
across the board. Where are we at for food? Let's do a normal one. Like, if we go double... It's health and morale, but I don't know if that's, like, morale playing into psyche, right? Lowering morale but not impacting health. I think so. Okay. Let's check our investigation there. And where are we at? Three on... Simulation is ready. Oh my god. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, baby. Okay, a couple things I want to do that I thought of while we were out there. Uh, first aid, we're good. Anti-rad, we're good. Alcohol, good. Oh, it says we have two of these. Didn't we use them? I'm sure... We used these things when we uh, ran into those guys by the car. Maybe we found some? I don't know. Either way, we have some now. We have a bunch of extra lockpicks, too. We may have just found some, too. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's get rid of this here. I know these are shotgun slugs, but I'm just going to clear up the slots. Um, ceramic plates will hold. Metal plate I'll get rid of. Do I have any revolver ammo? That can go. All right, good. So, let's check our skills here. Revolver, no. We can go perfect stealth. Parkour with Shashko. Or we can go, like, double health increase. I think we'll go... Yeah, so Sashko and Olga basic trainings, and then Olga maybe we'll do um, assault rifle damage. Hey there, old timer. What's... Mm. Nothing much. Ain't radiation a stone-cold bitch? That raggedy-ass old man. The other one, I mean, was rambling about it not too long ago. Uh, about what? About Pripyat being contaminated even before the Chernobyl disaster. You're a scientist. Is there any truth to it? Tarakan may not be the most reliable source of information in the zone, but in this case, he might be right. Explain. For starters, the choice of Pripyat as a location for a nuclear power plant was a mistake. Was it? It's fairly secluded. Nothing but woods and swamps. Perfect spot to keep things secret. Swamps. Exactly. Swampland is very poor in certain minerals and elements. Same goes for the vegetation in this whole area. Because of this, the local plants absorb pretty much everything very quickly. Even if it's poisonous, like, for example, the radioactive isotope of iodine. Also, both the Soviet Union and some NATO countries have been testing nuclear weapons like crazy since the 50s, pushing millions of tons of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere. Right. I watched something about that on YouTube. <laughs> Castle Bravo, Tsar Bomber, no way. shit. That's funny. And it only intensified leading up to 1963. The nuclear players wanted to conduct as many tests as possible before the PTBT came into effect. PTBT? the Partial Test Ban Treaty, an agreement between the USSR and the West that nuclear testing should be conducted underground only. But hundreds of nuclear explosions had already polluted the atmosphere all over the world, including over Chernobyl. If someone had bothered to take a Geiger reading of the marshes around Pripyat before building the power plant, they'd have found out it was already irradiated. Unfucking believable You got that right, buddy. You got that right. Hey, Sash about what? I can show you. Okay, hook me up with some reflex. Fantastic. I feel like we'll I'm both reflexes are three points, so we're going to be out. I don't know how he's going to train me on this. Maybe punch me in the face a few times, toughen up, you know? Punch me in the nards. Possible. Life on the streets told me that quick reflexes can mean the difference between coming home and coming home in a box. Sometimes it can help you dodge a bullet. I mean, not literally, but you can remove yourself from harm's way. Let's see if I can teach you some new tricks, old dog. First, breathe from the bottom of your belly. Slowly flex that diaphragm. Feel the air filling you from your toes to the top of your head. Now, don't hold it. Just release it. Not too slow, but not too fast either. Focus on your breathing and repeat the exercise three or four times. 
Okay, talk is cheap. I'm going to fire the rubber bullets at you. Yeah, there you we go. To anticipate the shot and cover before you get hit. Yeah, good call. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> that was fast. You're pretty spry for an over-the-hill pre-parastroika <laughs> scientist. Yeah, I'm pretty what spry. What are you hiding for? I haven't even started yet. You're getting good at this. Take cover, Igor. This is funny. Nice moves, old timer. You still got it. Take cover, Igor. Good to see you're still in shape. It'll come in handy. Outstanding. You got the reflexes of a teenage gangbanger on Crystal. I take you into my crew. No questions asked. Okay, beautiful. Good we are see stronger still now. In shape. It'll come in handy. Now we need to find Fulga. Have you heard of cloud seeding? No. I've heard that it's possible. Why? Because it was used to save Moscow from the Chernobyl fallout at someone else's expense. There's a lot of crazy theories surrounding the Chernobyl catastrophe. What's your source for this one? My mom told me it's what caused my father's thyroid cancer. But there are a lot of factors involved in... My mother was a doctor and a chemist. Trust me, she would know. Anyway, she told me what it looked like. Fighter jets shooting bullets with silver iodine in the radioactive clouds. The rain would wash down the toxic particles. The first cleanup operation was just two days after the Chernobyl disaster. Obviously, it was done in secret. The goal was to make the rain fall on smaller cities and villages in Belarus and Ukraine, where the cloud could reach Moscow. The little people suffered because of it. No one can even guess how many people died in the radiation-related diseases in the following decades. Of course, the authorities denied it. They're still denying it even today. Every time I think about it, I wish I had one or two of those fuckers in the sights of my moss and nugget. Pretty sure that's I a, find that like a bolt-action sniper rifle. Naturally. I heard you were once a true believer in the system. It's not that simple. So maybe I... she's the sniper. No need to explain yourself. It was a long time ago. I just hope you're smarter now. Those in power will always think of themselves first. Communism or no communism. Uh, hi, Olga. Uh, I was wondering- I'd be glad to- Okay, um... Yeah, discipline. Fantastic! No jokes, over. We'll see if her training method is any different. Today I'll teach you how to stay alive a little bit longer. Knowing how to use a med kit, healing selves, and herbs is obviously important. But I won't be talking about that. <laughs> what are you going to talk about, Olga? About resolve, grit, and determination. But having the guts to do what's right, whatever it takes. I get what you're saying, but what does it have to do with survival skills? You know the stories about people who achieve seemingly impossible feats in times of crisis? There's this tale about an old woman who somehow lifted a tram because her grandkid was stuck underneath. I'm sure that's an urban legend. Even so, with inner discipline and strength of conviction, you can sometimes surprise yourself. Let me ask you something. Are you willing to die for Tatiana? Without hesitation. Good. Now what you need to understand is that she doesn't need you to die. She needs you to live. Stay alive, Igor. It's the only way to see this through. That's... I mean, I can't argue with that advice. Oh, it's just a, it's a nice... it's just a pep talk. Alright, sick. That's a lot of health bars. I'm well down. Well done, Igor. But don't get cocky. You still need practice. Lots of practice. Okay, so let's run the simulation. And then, I'm guessing, we attempt the the whiteboard mission. Oh, cool. You're absolutely sure about that, Professor Semenov? It's the only logical explanation. How else would Amelieva's gamma brainwaves be able to interact with Chernobylite if it wasn't at least partially sentient? And what about the gate? Some advanced form of telekinesis. Huh. So she's gaining, like, superpower powers.
It's like all those computers are having issues. That's not a sufficient explanation, not by a long shot. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that the wormholes are... No, that is impossible. Why impossible? Think about it. Just because we've never seen an organism powerful enough to create, withstand, or even direct the exotic energy found near black holes, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The right way to so think. So these fractal tunnels, they're also organic. So we're what? Traveling through the veins of a giant multidimensional Moby Dick? Right now, thanks to his trials, only the Black Stalker is. And if you like to play with metaphors, I would say more like a giant multi-dimensional squid. And that would make the shadows, what? Some kind of external white blood cells? This is where, I mean, it's a lot of it's trippy, but the fact that we're in like a living mm, I thing like doing this is... Theory. They are here to nourish the main host and protect it from intruders and diseases. Us. Which is us, yeah, exactly. Most of us, yes. Shadows emerge through the unstable gate, so you don't think it was retaliation or an invasion? No. I would rather call it the reaction of an organism that was attacked by something foreign. By foreign, you mean our test subjects? So shadows are some sort of antibodies? Exciting, isn't it? And Amelieva is... like the correct protein, the conduit. She can communicate with the beast, but the beast can also speak through her. I've seen what happened to subjects who were exposed to Chernobylite. Getting some face time with this must be unsettling. What do you care? Our names will go down in the history books next to Newton and Einstein. Of course, Professor Semonov. This is all worth it. So Chernobylite is some kind of sentient multidimensional organism. I guess. And Tanya can communicate with it. This is... I can't even wrap my head around this. I'm just kind of... I want it to kind of just unfold. So I don't have to make as many off-the-wall predictions. Somewhere in the fractal world. It's been so long, my love. Why can't I hear you anymore? Since you gave birth to the boy and fell into a coma. You used to visit me in my dreams. I miss our conversations. I... I miss you, Tanya. Sometimes. I think I lost my way in all this. You think? Lost myself. We both made so many sacrifices, and now I'm not even sure what awaits us at the end of this road. Oh no. But You're this here. is our only chance to be together. You cannot lose hope now. Please, just let Semenov have what he wants. Give it to him, and then we can have each other. Poor bastard. It seems his delusion keeps him going. But I need to focus. I have to find out what Tanya is supposed to give to Semenov. Yeah, I wonder if it's, um... Well, I don't think it would be the kid. Remember, the kid got taken by somebody. It was just voice at that point in time. So... Luxury it's Arts, fascinating, NAR, Professor Semenov. Really? But I'm here to discuss business, not scientific curiosities. Our investors need to see a return on their investment. You don't need to worry about that. It can be monetized in ways they can't even imagine. But that's just the thing. These people don't like surprises. They want to know precisely what to expect. New types of weapons, medicine, a new means of transportation. All of that and more. You can tell your precious investors that the millions they're pouring into our project will come back to them as billions. And what about the Duga radar? It's been drawing all kinds of unnecessary attention over the years. These dark tourists and those damn stalkers. It has served its purpose, 
You can scrap it and make razors for all I care. We've got Amelieva now. She's the ultimate conduit. What we have in the works right now, it will transform the NAR into the biggest conglomerate in the world. It's going to be a trillion dollar business. We will use Amelieva millions, to billions, stabilize trillions. the gate to another world, the Chernobylites world. And once we are able to travel there, That's why this she's the will key. be a revolution unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. That's the key right there. You could call it an ontological shock. Ontolo what? Never mind. Okay, as long as you find a safe way of putting a dollar sign on it, you've got the permission of the board. But, you know, just keep your feet on the ground, okay, Professor? We're here to make money, not destroy the world or cause shocks of any kind. I've got it all under control. Everything is in place, and our patient Zero is ready. Dear God, so that's what Semenov needs Tanya for? Stabilizing a wormhole? A gate to the origin of Chernobylite. I need to get to the power plant and find her fast, before he can carry out this insane plan. Who knows what can happen to her, or to the world. I've got to make a plan, and move fast. This is cool. That's everything. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. When we come back, it seems as if we are going to be ready to uh, rock and roll on that final mission. Unless something weird comes up when we leave the room. That's possible. Wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Bye.